Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, obviously you might hear some noises out there soon because my mom's doing some vacuuming. I'm pretty sure she is anyways. So anyway, um, today I had to do a live stream predicting Mark 8 Deluxe DLC, but it did glitch out. Because of copyright, I'm pretty sure it was, because um, I was playing Mark 8 Deluxe as well. But today, right now, I'm going to be predicting Mark 8 Deluxe DLC. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them into three aisles, or three sections. Just line them up, like that. So this first one will be pack one, pack two right here, and then here is bonus, which is pretty much if you download pack one and pack two together, you do get the bonus that has some items. Now pack one, we're going to get down to the obvious stuff. Let's start off with the most obvious character that we need to have in this game. Diddy Kong. Um, I don't think I have to. I don't think you have to know why. I think it's. I, I, I think Diddy Kong 1000% deserves a spot in this game. If I just can't believe he's not in by now. You know, um, I even did a video on him called Where's Diddy. So, it is pretty obvious that I do want him. Now that I've finished cropping him, we'll put him right there. Now the second character I want to do should be pretty obvious, Birdo, another obvious character that I'd like to see in Smash and I'm sure a lot of people would like to see in Smash. However, I'm just going to be putting her into the pack 2, so there's one really good character in each DLC pack. Now let's get into the second character for pack 1, which would be a crossover. Now, I was thinking... Sorry, motorbike. Um, so I was thinking long and hard about this, but if we have uh, Diddy Kong, I'm pretty sure we need to have Funky Kong. Funky Kong is just so obvious. So let me just quickly put Funky Kong in. There we go. Fit Funky Kong in right here. Now it is time for the second character for pack two. And I think we should do two crossovers with Birdo. So I think we should go for Captain Falcon. Because, you know, we have F-Zero in the, as a track. We have vehicles for him. You know, we have, we have lots. And I just think it's really stupid that he's not in by now. There we go. There's Captain Falcon. So for DLC Pack 1, we have Diddy Kong, Funky Kong. But back to we have Birdo and Captain Falcon. However, we do have three people in each pack. So... Let's bring in somebody else. Now, I think we should make this a Mario character. How about a Mario character that maybe hasn't been in and deserves a spot? And maybe I'm thinking Kamek. Because he was he should have been in the very first Mario game. Mario Kart 64. But he was ditched out instead of Donkey Kong. And my okay, character Deluxe, I think he's just... A perfect way to introduce him to the series. There we go. There's Kamek. We have one more choice. Who do we do for the last pack with Cap and Falcon and Birdo? Maybe another crossover? I don't know. We could do another crossover. People are saying Kirby. But Kirby. I just don't think it'd make sense. This last character does. Pauline from Super Mario Odyssey, because Super Mario Odyssey is such a good selling game, right? So, bringing her in would just be a good move. Here are our six characters, and every pack will come with two new two new cups, so eight new stages. So, I pretty think it's pretty obvious one that we could do for the this one. So, maybe we could do Maybe a track based off Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Um, so this could be the first cross over for sure. I definitely think if we do add those two in, it would make sense. 
to cross it over with Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. The next thing I'm about to do just makes so much sense. Another Bowser's Castle. To be honest, I'm not. I don't care which one it is, but we only have one Bowser's Castle, so we make it a retro one. So we bring in a retro Bowser's Castle. Um, I guess it just really depends which one people like more. This third course is easily a very popular one, and we're going to be doing Maple Treeway because I just definitely think that this was one of the most popular ones from Mario Kart Wii and one that people would like to see in the game. So I've always had this idea for a course where it's kind of like um, Ribbon Road, where you're big, pe where you're little people in a big house. But you go through bedrooms, the kitchen, maybe up the stairs, or you go like down the stairs. In my opinion, it just it's just seemed like a perfect. It can be like Mount Wario. You maybe start in one spot and end off in a completely different one. Or it can be like one bigger lap, like where you loop and then you end off. So you have to go all around the house and then you end up in the same spot. I think that'd be really good. So if I type in house. That's what we can do. We can make it, yeah, you know, I definitely think that that's probably one of my best ideas for a course, if I had to pick a course, I'd definitely choose one like that. So here we go. We have Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze 1, like another jungle type, Bowser's Castle, Maple Tree Away, and um, a house one. So we have two retro, two new. Now, I did say uh, two new cups, eight new tracks. I'm not going to predict the second cup for pack one. I'm just going to be going on to pack two, one each. So, um, I think we should obviously start off with a very obvious one. Um, I don't think, to be honest, we need a track from Captain Falcon's game series because we already have like two or three, I'm pretty sure it is. But the first one is New Donk City because that just makes so much sense in the world, in my opinion. I definitely think if Mario Odyssey gets into the game, we will get New Dog City as a course. The second course I'm going to do is a very, very, very popular one. You can, everyone can see what I've been searching up. It's weird. Um, Waluigi Pinball, definitely probably one of the most most wanted tracks to come back. And to be honest, I definitely think this in. HD, clear, it would be perfect. So that's our second one. We still have two courses left. And to be honest, I could really go all out with this. I don't really have any ideas, but we could definitely get like a Splatoon, Splatoon, um, maybe stage. Let me just type in Splatoon. But a Splatoon course, for sure. To maybe represent Splatoon 2. Maybe if there's a DLC for that coming. Or another DLC. If there has been one already, I don't play Splatoon. Don't even have it, so I don't know a lot about Splatoon to be honest. So, um, this last course could definitely be from another game. We did get Captain Falcon courses and cart parts before he was even in the game. So, to be honest, we could get a course from like Kirby or a course from Animal Crossing, although we already have an Animal Crossing stage. Or we could actually get one about Super Smash Bros. I definitely think we could get something like a Super Smash Bros stage. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm kind of leaning towards. Maybe Kirby? I'm not sure. I'll just type in Super Smash Bros for the sake of it and get a picture from that. Here you go. So we have New Donk City, New, Waluigi Pinball, Retro, and then Splatoon and Super Smash Bros representatives for like new series and stuff. Now, let's get to the bonus. So, in my opinion, I've been thinking, if you can purchase both DLC packs, it comes with new costumes for Toad and Koopa Trooper. And I'm also thinking it comes with a new character. Now, people are thinking, who could this new character be? And to be honest, not even I'm sure. We could do absolutely anyone. But, people are saying Kirby. I'm not sure... If Kirby would be right. But, you know, they brought in the Inklings. They brought in Animal Crossing characters. Anything can happen. So, I'll definitely lead 
towards Kirby being in. So that's a that's a toy, isn't it? Yeah, that's a toy. I'll get this one. Um so for a bonus, you get you get Kirby. And you also get I'll just write it in here. There's definitely some some more modes, but probably the most popular one that people want to come back is mission mode. So I definitely think mission mode should be coming back if you get both. Um, that's some ideas. Maybe you can. Um, I'm not even sure. Let me think of some ideas. So I just had this crazy idea for a mode. I'll just quickly type it in so I don't forget what I'm gonna say. Um, elimination lap. So pretty much it's called elimination lap where you keep on racing and every lap whoever is in last place gets like sucked out of the race and then you keep on going until one person's left standing in my opinion that'd be interesting for online because just everyone competing trying to get into first place and if you if you're in last when the lap ends you're eliminated from the race and you come in 12th or 11th or 10th etc on so I definitely think elimination lap would be a very good way to you know bring people more competitive probably because it'd be it feels so good winning that don't get me wrong so I have a mode that lots of people are just praying come back are you ready to see it three two one double dash mode where you can play as two people in like a double dash sort of race that is definitely what people want and definitely worth money in my opinion and I also have another idea just like in Mario Kart 8 the battle mode yeah the courses weren't good because we were just playing on actual race courses but the idea of it was pretty good you you don't respawn you're eliminated if you get all of your balloons popped that needs to come back elimination mode elimination battle mode for sure that needs to come back because I was kind of sad when I found out it didn't come back to be honest so it was a bit of a bummer but if we get it for DLC I'm totally for it and the most perfect way to end off this bonus DLC is to give kind of like Metal Mario has Gold Mario as not really his own character because they both share a character spot but these people can play CPUs just like any regular racer. Sadly, for some reason, Gold Mario cannot play as a CPU. He never shows up, so I'm not sure why. Hopefully, DLC fixes that. But we have some costumes which can be playable characters, like like the villager had the female villager in the um old version, Mario A, and Breath of the Wild Link. Doesn't have his own character uh, character spot. He's with Link. Anyway, let's get with it. The first one, you can see him already, damn it. But we have Dixie Kong for um Dixie Kong for Diddy Kong. Tanuki Luigi for Tanuki Mario and Donkey Kong Jr. for Donkey Kong. So you can select them. They can also play as CPUs, but it's just to save character slots. So guys, if you do purchase DLC, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, pretty much 10 new characters, 16 new tracks, mission mode, elimination lap, elimination battle mode, and double dash mode. Who wouldn't want that? I would be willing to pay maybe 30 to 40 bucks for this. Nintendo, you've already done so well with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and DLC is just the perfect way to boost that up. Um, and doing this, it would just be a perfect way. You, you wouldn't have to do Mario Kart 9 for a long time if you could do this. But anyway, guys, thank you guys all so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel right up there, and um, check out some other videos there
and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Um, peace.